Hi guys, welcome back to Robo Thoughts, the only channel which will sh make you from zero to hero. All right, guys. I'm sure in the previous videos you got a hang of uh, what you had been trying to do in terms of logging into Jetson Nano remotely and trying to install Python, Python 2 versus Python 3 and blah blah blah. I showed you everything, right? Now, most important thing let's install ide i'm going to show you how to install an ide called nano guys don't get confused between jetson nano and nano ide these are two different things nano ide is it's it's very old it's a, it's a vintage ide i would say however this is the best best ide ever for linux operating system and it's very much compatible with uh, uh, you know with Jetson Nano. Well, you can install a couple of other IDs like Visual Studio and PyCharm and stuff like that. But I would prefer uh, Nano IDE because of one specific reason. Number one, this IDE is not a kind of you know colorful GUI where you just click and drag, drop, and execute a program. No you got to write the code on the command line on the terminal so what's going to happen it's going to enable and enhance your skills on linux operating system at the same time python right so this is going to be very helpful guys watch out carefully what i'm going to do uh let me just share my screen okay let me open my terminal I hope you guys have already logged into your Jetson Nano remotely using Putty. Okay, so let's let's take a look at how do we install uh, Nano IDE. All right, here's the command: sudo sudo apt. Uh, let me just share my screen again. It just gets switched over. sudo apt get dash uh, install oh, one second guys sudo apt dash get install nano sudo apt get install nano all right so take a look at it carefully sudo apt dash install nano press enter sudo command not found okay what's wrong okay all right here you go i think i need to put install sudo apt sudo apt get install nano now press enter hold on guys sudo apt dash get install nano enter there you go all right boom so i have already installed it so you know i uh, you you guys can take a take a minute about a minute or so uh, once you install what you got to do one second let me just clear the window C L E A R okay once I clear the window all right guys now let me take a look at it all right here you go now let's let's create a kind of text file you know for for you uh, i'll just show you how to work on it nano nano test dot txt you can name it anything you want but you know this is just a test file i'm going to show you right there you go boom you are now inside nano ide all right guys this is this is exciting right okay now what we got to do is uh, 
to exit out of this nano IDE you got to press X see can you see the commands down get help exit write out read file so you got to press control and X control X okay you are out out of nano IDE you are back into terminal now let's say uh, what we are going to do all right now let's take a look let me show you how to make a directory now what is a directory it's like a folder which you create in your windows machine right right click new folder and inside the folder you put some files like word excel blah 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 that's the same thing in linux right it's called directory so how do you do that here you go watch out mkdir make directory and i'm going to create a test okay i created a test okay now i want to get into the test directory or a folder let me show you how to do that cd dot test cd space test well can you see that i am into the test folder or a directory see here can you see here cd test i am into the test directory and i'm going to create a text file okay i'm just showing an example guys you can you can just you know create whatever you want now to create a test file because you are going to use nano ide always you need to start with nano n a n o hold on guys n a n o i'll create some name you know uh, maybe i don't know maybe uh, robo thoughts or just create rt rt dot txt okay all right now you have opened nano as a text file all right guys now let me show you some magic okay uh, let me just say hold on let me just reduce the size of this this is sometime crazy you know this windows just keeps popping up here and there okay uh, let's say avengers wow okay avengers and uh, let me say age of oh no one second guys let's say age of ultrons and then i create something else probably you know spider-man spider-man and uh, and uh, okay maybe these three names in this particular text file should be sufficient now how do i save it it's confusing right now go down if you go down there are a couple of instructions on the nano itself right if you just scroll down can you see at the bottom right so what you need to do is press control plus o okay control plus o and then enter all right i'm going to show you how to do control o and enter and now control x boom you saved your dot text file in nano ide now you are back to your terminal what you are going to do if you want to view the content inside a particular text file in the nano ide all you need to do is you know uh, issue a catalog command it's called a catalog command right what is catalog command guys so let me uh, show you how to do that <coughs> uh, for example what was the file name we created 
rt text okay now cat okay let me show you my screen cat cat stands for cat lock not that meow cat cat okay rt rt dot txt guys i am going very very slow here assuming that most of my viewers are going to be the first time in the world first time ever have seen a linux terminal or a python id or a python program or whatever right so i am going very very slow purposefully okay now let's open this particular file there you go can you see i catted it that means i'm creating a cat log this the command cat is mainly to view the content inside the text folder which you created inside a directory and that's going to pop up on your command on your terminal itself this is how it is can you see avengers age of ultrons spiderman blah 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 whatever okay now how do i exit there is no exit well <laughs> yes there is you can just say cd change directory you are back see can you see here when you put cd you are out of that test directory or a test folder okay now this is a very simple lesson guys so practice this practice this i am going to be back in the next lesson i am going to we are going to start with hello world in python the first program okay all right i hope you had fun please do subscribe to this channel please do like and leave a comment and please ask me any questions if you want just email me or put in in a comment i'll, I'll try to answer as best as possible i can all right guys see you have a great day